The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Good morning, and welcome to the Broncos Broadcasting Network. I'm Nathan. And I'm Spencer. Here are the stories for today's broadcast. We talked to more of our staff and students about their goals for this semester, and we talked to one of our students who has started the Florida chapter of a nonprofit organization. BBN News begins now. Today is Wednesday, January 10th, which is National Bittersweet Chocolate Day and National Take the Stairs Day. If today is your birthday, you share a birthday with Rod Stewart, George Foreman, and Rene Rapp. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. Juniors and seniors, it is time to get your prom tickets. This year's prom will take place at the National Ballroom at the Omni Orlando on April 6th. Tickets are on sale now for $105. Get your tickets before the next price increase on February 17th. The Media Center will be unable to check out new books until Monday, January 15th. After school tutoring continues after school today. Students must be in the Media Center by 2.05 and must be picked up promptly when tutoring ends at 3.05. Today, students can be tutored in Math, ELA, Science, and ESOL. Attention seniors, your senior quotes are due by January 26th at 11.59 p.m. Please scan the QR code or head to at DHS yearbooks on Instagram for more information. Are you interested in joining Ladies Quest? Then please attend the next interest meeting which will occur on Tuesday, January 16th at 2.15 p.m. in room 156A. Ladies Quest will be hosting the first annual fairy tale brunch right here at DHS on Saturday, March 9th from 10.30 until 2.30. This event will include brunch, activities for the kids, door prizes, special magical guests, and more. You can purchase your tickets today through the event ticketing on the Davenport High School website. The next French Club meeting will be today from 2 until 2.45 in Monsieur Maldonado's room, room 224. Those attending will learn information about crepes and will even make them. If you have any questions, please see Monsieur Maldonado. One of our DHS students recently created the Florida Chapter of Youth for Nero, which is a non-for-profit whose mission is to ignite a passion for neuroscience among the youth. Santiago has more. Today we're going to be covering a new organization called Youth for Nero here at Dimeport High School. Now we're going to be hearing from its members. So Youth for Nero is a neuroscience nonprofit started by students. Um, it's international and I had started a Florida chapter. The goal for Youth Funeral is to educate, advocate, and to provide a way for other students to gain um, information about neuroscience. So neuroscience is mainly about the brain, nerves, and everything consistent with biology. Um, it deals with psychology as well. Um, my chapter is trying to um, advocate and also advertise the nonprofit. So we're gonna try to do um, events such as mentor mentorship. Uh, Youth for Neuro is a nonprofit organization that um, involves students here at Davenport High School. And we help inform people about things about like the brain and how different diseases can affect you in your life and how you can prevent them and get more involved with it. I feel like the impact is that we get to help educate more people about things that happen and help them become more involved with like their body and like how their brain works. You get community service hours and you get to be you get to meet new people around who like you normally wouldn't talk to and you get to be more involved with things especially if you have an interest in it. Going around school, setting up um, stations, you know, having people stop by um, informing them what we are, what our purpose is, and how we help benefit the community. Yeah, I reach out to other schools, okay. propose our things, and maybe potentially help plan with um, any activities we do outside of this school. Right now, DHS is our base school, or like where we have the most members, our president is located here, our vice president is located here. We, we have two other schools under our influence right now, but we're currently growing. And right now, Youth for Nero, we're based around um, helping people and doing community work. At Youth for Nero, we also feature a way to help the community and also c complete your community service hours through 
blood drives, mentoring, and other things that we ally with other schools to help you do. So not only do you help somebody, you help yourself by community, completing those community service hours. We also feature marathons where we um, walk or run or jog for a certain, to raise money for our organization. We do it as a fundraiser. From BBN News, I'm Santiago. Today's ACT word of the day is sufficient, which means enough, just meeting a requirement. These boxes should be sufficient for our move. Performances of SpongeBob the Musical will take place March 29th and 30th in our Performing Arts Center. Scan the QR code to get your tickets today. Attention students, during the third quarter, Davenport High School will have a grade level attendance competition. The grade level with the highest daily attendance during the third quarter will earn a time out of class for an organized event such as movie day or a field day. Show up to school as much as possible to help your grade level win. On to Broncos sports. On Monday night, the girls basketball team was back in action when they traveled to Auburndale to take on the Bloodhounds. Soraya Emilian, 22 points, led the Broncos to a 58-11 victory. The Broncos are back in action at home on Thursday against the Ridge Community Bolts. Boys soccer is back in action on the road this Friday night when they travel to St. Cloud to take on the Bulldogs. The girls soccer team is back in action tomorrow when they travel to Mark Dora to take on the Hurricanes. Attention Broncos who want to play baseball in the spring. Baseball arm conditioning continues today from 2.30 until 4.30. During this time, pitchers and catchers will focus on getting their arms in shape for the upcoming season. Baseball tryouts will begin on January 22nd and run until the 26th. All players must be cleared on Activate before they can participate. If you have any questions, please see Coach Stevens in room 313D. There will be a baseball field cleanup workday on Saturday beginning at 9 a.m. Please see Coach Stevens in room 313D to see how you can assist. Softball tryouts will begin on Tuesday, January 16th from 2.30 until 5 p.m. at the softball fields. If you have any questions, please see Coach Cook. It is always important to keep setting new goals or reaching for old ones. Now with the second semester just beginning, it would be a good time to get new goals. Caroline went around asking students and staff what their goals are for this semester. My name is Caroline Schaeberger with the Broncos Broadcasting Network. Today, we're going to be talking to students and staff about their goals for next semester. My personal goal for next semester is to become a better anchor and better news person. My goals for next semester are to stop procrastinating about my um, assignments and to bring my GPA up because last year was not good. To lock in and stay focused. Um, my goal is to help my students pass the EOC, so a lot of um, really drilling the content and checking for understanding so that we can, you know, go back and reteach what we need to, but really just to pass the EOC. My goals for next semester is to stay focused, um, to no procrastination, no procrastination whatsoever, and get them assignments in. Well, ultimately for myself, I always just want to get better, be a better teacher, a better conductor, a better musician, personally and with the people I'm with. My goals for my students, first and foremost, is to help them reach their goals, whatever those are. So if that's becoming a better person, a better musician, I think music is a unique vehicle to becoming a better person and a better human. So I want to become a better human and for them to do that too. So better singers, better keyboard players, just better. Um. I'm going to keep my clothes clean by wearing my overalls at work and um, I hope that my students can continue to make some pretty cool artwork um, and get them into some art shows uh, in the spring. Uh, next semester I want to go out in the world and become a great mechanic. So right now I want to go to UTI and then after college I'll go to UCLA to learn mechanical engineering. I'm Caroline with the Broncos Broadcasting Network signing off.
Thank you for joining us today for Broncos News. I'm Nathan. And I'm Spencer. Enjoy the rest of your day, Broncos.